Okay, so we're going to be doing anatomy for the knee. So whenever we look at the knee, if we want to look at the patella, we always start them in extension first. So that way his leg is completely relaxed, and you can actually move the patella. So we go from side to side. We can actually take the patella and we can tilt it. So if I'm going to identify it, this is going to be a free-floating bone. That's going to be the patella. All other structures that we're going to find, we're going to find with the knee bent. The most important structure that we're going to find is going to be the joint line. So we find the patella. In the middle here we call the patellar tendon. I'll get back to that. And then here's our joint line. So I can feel the two grooves. Above my thumbs, I'm touching the femur. If I pull my thumbs down, I'm touching the tibia. So I'm going to go ahead and outline that joint line. This joint line runs all the way around the knee. So this separates the top from the bottom, so femur and tibia. Okay. The next bony structure that we're going to locate is called the tibial tubercle. So this is where the patellar tendon, which goes from here to here, it attaches the kneecap down to the bone. It's this little bony spot right here. This is also the site where we find Osgood Slaughters, and you'll see about that. <clears throat> okay. The last bony structure that we're going to find is going to be the head of the fibula. So. If we find the joint line, and I run my fingers to the lateral side, and then come straight down to this first big bump. This is the top of the fibula, or the head of the fibula. So I'm going to go ahead and outline that. And the fibula runs the distance of the leg all the way down here to the ankle. So we have the patella, we have the anterior joint line with the femur on top, tibia on bottom, head of the fibula, which is below the joint line, and the tibial tubercle. These are going to be all of our bony landmarks.